Hello, everyone. This is Pastor Alan Hathaway. Uh, today, or this Sunday, is Patriot Sunday, or Patriot Day. It uh, is a re remembrance of 9-11. I very vividly remember that particular day, uh, even though now there are many adults who, are, who were not even born when 9-11 began. It was an unusual day. I was actually working in my office that Tuesday, and uh, my wife called me up and said, uh, Alan, you've got to come over to the parsonage. There's a plane has just hit the uh, Twin Towers. And so I, I rushed over to the parsonage and got there just as the second plane hit the second tower. And I remember the horror I felt. And I had spent my entire life reading about uh, evil and reading about the consequences of evil, but I had never seen anything on that scale in my life. I know people that had been in World War II that had seen that kind of evil. I knew there, had, there are people that have certainly experienced evil on that kind of level, but I had never personally understood it or experienced it in that way. And then I felt the eeriness of the, of the following days when everything came to a screeching halt as we took inventory as a nation. I also sat there glued to my television set watching the courageous men and women rushing into danger to save lives and to try and do their best at rescuing people. It was one of the moments when I was the most proud to be an American citizen, proud of my nation, proud of the men and women who serve our nation as first responders and who serve in our military. I am deeply grateful to them for their service. I am also very much aware that we live in a world with very real evil in our world and that we cannot pretend that evil does not exist. Jesus came into the world identifying the fact that there was evil and he said, I have come into the world to make that clear. The writer Isaiah would say that he is the plumb line that divides good and evil, life and death. So as a Christian, I understand that Jesus is the standard by which all things are judged and all actions are judged. As a Christian, that means that I need to look e at evil squarely, not only in the world around me, but in myself as well. And as a Christian, I understand my need for repentance, which is to say of that sin or that evil within me that it is indeed sin and it is indeed evil and renounce it. That is part of what repentance is about for the Christian. It is a recognition that within all of us as humans, there resides the possibility and the potential of tremendous evil. And when we understand that, we understand what the grace of God really means in each of our lives because we are all capable of great evil. Very often we become very good at covering that evil up, of disguising it so that no one else understands or we think no one else understands what it is. I was struck by this when I read a story in 2 Samuel. It's a story of two men who wanted to be rid of their king. 
Their king was a weak king. He was a vacillating king. Uh, even though he had been 40 years of age when he came to the throne, he was a weak man. He was controlled by the general of the army. And so these men thought after the general had been killed that, well, they didn't need a king any longer. And after all, there was David across the Jordan uh, in Hebron who had been at war with their king. And certainly he would reward them if they murdered their king in their bed. And so they snuck into the palace one night because they were trusted. They were men of his military and they were trusted. And they murdered him in his own bed. The man's name was Ishbosheth. They brutally killed him and then they cut off his head, wrapped it in a, ba in a bag, and took it to David in Hebron. And they came to him saying, We have brought you your enemy. David was scandalized by this evil. They had killed an innocent man, a man who trusted them. David said, if you knew what kind of man I am, you would understand I am not going to celebrate your evil. And so he had both of the men executed and gibbeted so that everyone knew that such an action was evil. Doing what is right means even when our enemies have done wrong, we do not act in evil. And that's a very difficult thing to understand. Until you understand that God came as a human being, and he did not act toward us as we deserve. But instead, he took upon himself our sin. He took upon himself the punishment of our sin and offered to us forgiveness and grace. That is a profound, profound truth. You and I as Christians have received grace. But that grace does not come to us until we come to understand the depth of our own sin and the potential of evil within each of us. And we bring ourselves honestly to God and say, God, I am a sinner. I am am capable of great evil. Please forgive me and accept me. I don't come to God with anything in my hands, proving to him that I am good because I know better about myself. And you, if you're honest, know better about your own self as well. That's what salvation is really about. It is about the grace of God to you and to me. It is that dividing line of Jesus Christ in history that allows us to look at circumstances like 9-11 and say that truly is evil. That truly is wrong, and that needs to be dealt with. Evil is dealt with either by judgment or by grace. And I am glad God provided grace for each of us. God bless you. Hope to see you in church on Sunday.